estimating a mediation model including covariates with process. We hypothesize that the effect of age on newspaper reading time is mediated by news site use. In addition, we want to control for education and political interest because we think those variables may have effects on newspaper reading time as well. We include education and political interest as covariates in our regression models. We can do this with process. Let's go to analyze, regression, process. We can select model number four because we have a simple mediation model with just a single mediator. The bootstrapping settings and the confidence settings are all fine. So let us select our variables. Reading time is our outcome variable. H is our predictor and new site use is our mediator. In addition, we can select education and interest in politics as covariates. Now there is a choice to be made if we include covariates in our model. And we can see that in the bottom left of the dialog screen, by default the covariates are assumed to have effects both on the mediator M and the outcome variable Y. This is the recommended choice if the covariates are causally antecedent to the mediator M and the outcome Y. If political interest would be a consequence rather than a cause of news site use, then political interest should not have an effect on the mediator M, and we would have to select Y only as the option. Note, however, that we can only select one of the three options for all covariates. So if we would select Y only, we would only include an effect of education on Y as well. Now let's assume that political interest may have an effect on news site use, so we maintain the option that the covariates may affect both the mediator and the outcome variable. Under options, select effect size and restrict the output to three decimal places. We don't have a multi-categorical predictor and we do have long variable names, so we should check the allow long variable names option. Okay, let's run directly, don't paste. And here is the output. First of all, the output tells us the model that we've estimated, just a simple mediation model, model 4, with one mediator, and that is new site use. Then process reports the regression models that it estimated, and there are only two now. We have the mediator new site use regressed on age, education, and political interest, so it's regressed on the predictor age, and the two covariates, education and political interest. And the second regression model regresses reading time on both the mediator, new site use, the predictor age, and the two covariates, education and political interest. We may add the unstandardized regression coefficients to our path model. We can see that the effects are statistically significant, except the effect of education on reading time, which has a p-value of 0.78, and the confidence interval is nearly symmetric around zero. So if there is an effect of education on reading time in the population, it can be negative as well as positive. A direct effect of age on reading time is repeated here, and there is just one indirect effect estimated for age on reading time with new site use as the mediator. The effect is sizable with an unstandardized coefficient of 1.44. An additional 10 years will increase the predicted reading time by 1.44 minutes on average through the mediator new site use. The other output is interpreted in another video, so we won't pay attention to the remaining output here. In addition, if we want to check the assumptions, we have to execute the regression analysis in SPSS and check the residual plots. So this concludes the video on including covariates in mediation models.